These stories are crafted so brilliantly that you have this emotional reaction to that's genius, it must come from God, right? This must be inspired by God, this clearly must be true. Mark is not writing a memoir, he's not collecting oral lore, he's not writing a history, he's not writing a biography, he's writing a message. So Mark is trying to sort of create a new scripturist, a sort of new Moses, a new Elijah, who, who behaves the way that is meaningful for that particular time. Basically there's stories about Moses or stories about Elijah and Elisha that Mark has updated. You know, he's done like a West Side Story to Romeo and Juliet, he's changed the historical context, the cultural context, changed the value, meaning of the message, and put Jesus as the central character. So Jesus is in the role of Moses, Jesus is in the role of Elijah. Mark is also doing this in a sort of Homeric style. He's taking ideas from Homer and rewriting them. He'll take stories of Odysseus and other people from the Homeric tales, rewrite them so that the value message is the value message Mark wants to sell, not the value message that you get from Homer, so that this book would even replace Homer. This is really how Jesus even became historicized in the first place, is that if your hero doesn't exist, it's a much harder sell to say that he's the great moral guide.